since blockchain technology came into play, there have been innovative ideas that are challenging the status quo. We see blockchain and in particular DeFi as a means to fundamentally change the way the old markets operate by removing the costly middleman from financial transactions. This allows a truly peer-to-peer -peer system to develop and offers a range of new market opportunities and direct control, previously unavailable to many. Today's video is about Puri Finance. In this video, we would discuss what Puri Finance does, how it works, some important features in the Puri ecosystem, and its tokenomics. But before we continue, kindly hit that like button to get this video to more people, and if you are interested in tech, blockchain and Web3, then hit that subscribe button for more similar content. Now without further ado, let's get into it. What is Puri Finance? Puri Finance is a decentralized cross-chain synthetic issuance and derivative exchange protocol that provides unlimited liquidity on the Polkadot network. Puri Finance provides solutions to many of the current issues afflicting DeFi projects on Ethereum, including prohibitively high gas fee, slow transaction speeds and the possibility of various negative aspects associated with this market such as front-running and flash loan. Puri Finance allows accessing a wide range of both traditional financial and crypto assets in the form of synthetic and leveraged products, NFT assets, perpetual future swap, etc. Now, let's look into the some important features of the Puri ecosystem. First is the Puri Pinths. Pinth stands for Puri Synthetic Asset, it is a synthetic asset which price follows the price of the underlying asset. Puri is a utility token used to create a liquidity pool in the process of staking, generating the PUSD basic pints or Puri synthetic assets. PUSD is used when converting into other pints of user's choice. When the value of pints increases, users can exchange them for PUSD at any time to unlock the stake Puri token. Puri token is also a tool to be used for voting within Puri DAO, which will play a crucial role in the development of Puri Finance. The second is Puri Staking DAP. Puri Staking DAP allows users to mint PUSD by staking Puri, USDC and DAI. By staking Puri, holders will receive three different following rewards. 1. Regular staking rewards based on vesting plan. 2. Puri Inflation Rate Rewards. 3. The distribution of commissions incurred in PINTS transactions and leveraged PINTS contract trading. These will be distributed to stakers based on their contribution to the network. Thirdly is the Puri Exchange. Puri Exchange is a PINTS derivative DEX, where users can trade a variety of financial assets. Puri Exchange offers spot trading as well as perpetual contract exchange, and users can invest PINTS for long or short positions with up to 20x leverage. Puri Exchange doesn't need any liquidity provider. For the transaction of converting PINTS, the counterparty is the debt pool collateralized by Puri, USDC, and die staked by the holders, so the liquidity available in the pool is infinite and no slippage exists. With these liquidity pools, users can freely convert one pint to other assets. Puri Finance also supports a wide range of NFT assets based on various objects, including artwork, metaverse properties, game items, etc. As for leverage pints, a perpetual contract trading, virtual AMM backed by the staked pool, is the mechanism that provides the liquidity. Through the platform, Puri Finance will provide a wide range of synthetic asset products over the traditional finance barrier. Users can participate in trading various kinds of financial synthetic assets by staking Puri tokens on the DAP. Furthermore, gold, silver, WTI, Forex, and stocks are scheduled to be added to Puri DEX. Users can trade more than just cryptocurrencies. This is done through the integration of Chainlink's live price feed. Lastly let's look into Puri token. Puri is a utility token used to create a liquidity pool in the process of staking, generating the basic pints or Puri synthetic assets. It is also a tool to be used for voting within Puri DAO, which will play a pivotal role in the development of Puri Finance. The maximum supply of Puri is 20 million. With a total supply of about 14.5 million. A market cap of about $1 million and currently selling at $0.1 per puri. Looking at the maximum supply, this is within 20 million, which seems to be a good indication for the potential token growth. It is also not inflationary. With massive adoption and market growth, the token have the ability to grow exponentially. Let's wrap this up. 
Pins assets provide users with a way to buy or sell a variety of traditional financial assets without having dealing in the underlying asset. Users can easily swap their asset to another in order to make profits without going through any procedures or censorship mandatorily enforced in traditional financial systems, which typically add friction and prevent easy movement between asset. Kindly note that this is not a financial advice and it is only for educational purpose. Don't hesitate to let us know what you think about Puri Finance in the comments section, also let us know what you would like us to discuss on this channel. Kindly like this video and subscribe to this channel, don't forget to share the video and turn on your notification to get notified each time we post a new video. See you next time.